I'm Steve from This Week With Cars and today I'd like to take a look at the 2021 Ford Bronco. The very first Ford Bronco similar to this one came out in 1966. Very quickly, only on its second generation did the Ford Bronco get quite a bit bigger. And it stayed that way all the way through the fifth generation ending in 1996. So it's nice to see that this sixth generation has carried on the large Bronco look but this time, maybe since the first generation of Broncos, the Ford Bronco is going out there and trying to compete to be top off-roader. This particular Bronco is a four-door convertible with the outer banks trim. That means that it has a more luxurious interior. Normally, this model is not fitted with 35-inch tires, but this particular Bronco has a 2-inch lift and 35-inch tires sitting on the original 18-inch wheels. I think the new Bronco looks fantastic in black. If you're used to the older Broncos, one thing you might be disappointed in is the access to the rear. You have this tailgate that opens, but especially on the convertible models, this is kind of in the way. This does lift up a bit, but it only goes up that far. Hardtop versions may give you more access to the rear cargo area, but I haven't seen one of those in person yet. It's a shame Ford is having trouble with the hardtops. All of the new Broncos you're going to see for a while will probably have the soft tops on them. This Bronco is equipped with a 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost. It's refreshing to see an engine without one of those cheap plastic covers trying to cover up everything, but man, this makes this look like a very complicated engine bay. A little turbocharger is hidden over here on the passenger side. Now I could drive this car on the highway and tell you how many MPGs it gets, but if you're watching this channel, you're probably a car enthusiast and you really don't care about any of that. If you're spending $50,000 or more for a Ford Bronco, you can probably pay for gas. So let's get to the bread and butter and check out what really matters. When we first open the door, we see an animation playing on the two screens. All that rocks and mud going to make a Bronco logo. There is no key, just push start it. This is a very big infotainment screen here. It uh, really stands out when you get in it. On this big screen here, I'm sure it's got nav, maybe you might use that, but I really don't care about any of this stuff. You can sync it to your phone. I'll let someone else go over all that. The window controls on the new Bronco are down here in the center, just like a Land Rover. Strangely, the mirror adjust is also here. I don't think I've ever seen it located on the center console in any vehicle before. This is a new vehicle. It has all the things that you would expect from a new vehicle. So I don't need to talk about them, but one thing I do like is way up here. There's an outlet right here so that you can plug in things like your phone, maybe a GPS unit things like that, and you don't have those cords strung down to the outlet sitting down around in this area. The center console is somewhat small compared to what you might be expecting in an off-road vehicle. Put your big leather gloves in there and that's about all that's going to fit in it. But the glove box is decently sized. There's plenty of room for your winch controller as well as some other items. One of the things we care about most is right here, the goat mode switch. We get different selections up here at the dashboard. Normal, Eco, Sport, Slippery, Mud Ruts, and Sand. I think that's it, yep. One neat thing, if we go to Mud Ruts, the camera changes over here. We get a camera screen. I imagine that the Mud Ruts mode is the mode that you'll be using the most off-road. We have different cameras that we can view up here. Here's a panoramic view. We can see all around the vehicle. And if I turn the steering wheel, it shows where the tracks of the front wheel are going to go. Here's the front bumper. Here's a panoramic view of the front bumper so we can tell how close we're really getting to things. And this is a really neat mode that helps you stick your tires exactly where you want to. So, how is the Bronco building this 360 degree view? Well, as far as I can tell, there's a camera in the spare tire, a camera in the front grille, and cameras in both of the mirrors. I couldn't find any other cameras around the vehicle besides those, 
And obviously if it's raining or you're going through a lot of mud and dust, you're gonna have to get out and clean those cameras out periodically if you're planning on using this feature to help you. Let's start out with the panoramic view. So you can see as we encounter some things off to the side here, we can view them on the screen over here. We can kind of get an idea of how close we're getting to the objects towards the driver's side here. If we go to this mode, which is viewing where our tires, we can even get even closer to that edge because you can really see that edge right there on the screen. Now I can tell that I'm just skimming the edge of the grass here. This would be an incredible mode at an off-road event or out in the wilderness when you want to cross a log bridge or something where you need to be very precise about where you're putting your wheels. Let's go back to the 360 view. All right, there's a tree coming up here. Let's go to the panoramic view. See how close we can get to that tree. I'd say that camera is doing a really good job of seeing how close I can see that I have a couple inches still yet before I'm going to hit that tree. And up here on the hood, you get a really good sense of where the corners of your vehicle are due to the hooks that stand up prominently out of the hood. So right now we're in four high and over here on my screen, it shows that my rear differential is locked. Also indicates it up here. I can turn my rear diff on and off. We can turn traction control on and off. Traction control is now off. It's kind of strange that they didn't put another indicator light up there to let you know that your traction control is off so you don't forget about that. One of the neatest features on the new Bronco is the trail turn assist. That's this center button here. We now have it engaged and I'm going to turn my wheel to the right and the truck is going to do its best to try to spin the truck as close to a pivot on the right rear wheel as possible. So let's give it a go. And it's doing this using the traction control system. It's making a much tighter corner by scrubbing the outer wheels around this tree to the right than it normally could have. That will allow you to get around real tight switchbacks that maybe normally a vehicle this large wouldn't be able to do. When the going gets real rough, we can, of course, put the car in neutral, hit the four low button, it shifted just now. Now you can put it back in drive. We're in four low. One neat thing is if you switch into four low, you get an inclimeter and it actually gives you digits so that you can see how far you are tilted forward and aft and side to side. One thing that I think is nice is when you select your different GOAT modes, right now I'm in two high, if you select an off-road mode, it will automatically switch you the transfer case into the proper mode for what you've selected. Now if we switch back to something say like sport mode, it's going to take us out of four-wheel drive and put us back into two-wheel drive. Let's try to get the Bronco to set itself up on the rock that you can see right here. So let's go to our 360 degree view, get a little bit closer to that rock. We can see it just in front of us right now. Now, if we switch to our tire view, we should be able to place the tire directly on top of that rock pretty easily. We can tell that we're right up against it now. I'm going to use both the gas and the brake. Give it a little bit of gas. And there we go, we're on top of that rock. Without all these fancy cameras, I'd have to be feeling through the steering wheel and imagining where my tires are hitting that rock at. 
but using this camera it makes it extremely simple and I know exactly where my tires are let's back down from it you can see the rock there in front of us so what do I think of the 2021 Ford Bronco well there's just some people who are never going to buy a Jeep and maybe the Ford Bronco will appeal to them in my opinion this may be the most capable easily driven vehicle that we have seen since the Land Rover first came out with their really good traction control system I think if you add up the features the capability and the price of this vehicle this is a contender for the Land Rover would I buy one well I might I definitely would want to have at least 35 inch tires I don't think that I need this luxurious of an interior I'd rather have something that's more washable and easily cleaned and one big option that this vehicle doesn't have that comes on some of the more off-road capable models is the disconnectable sway bar for me I would want ultimate off-road capability and I would need to get a model that had the disconnectable sway bar if you were using this vehicle off-road only of course you could take the sway bar completely off however handling on the highways may be severely affected if you did that I'm Steve from This Hook With Cars and if you want to see more videos like this comment below and click subscribe